Okay. So, so uh, James has sprained his uh, left ankle how long ago? Years ago. Years ago. All right. So, having sprained his left ankle, we want to test ankle stability first. So, I'll have him ever plantar flex and ever to see how the peroneals are firing. They're doing great. I'm going to have him plantar flex and invert, and that goes off, okay? I'm going to follow the sprain up the line. So if it's a left ankle sprain, if it's a left ankle sprain, there's going to be leaning to the right to get the weight off of the lateral malleolus, okay? That will cause me to start tipping this way. So the trunk's going to go that way to create balance. And so that I don't end up falling that way, my neck's going to go this way. Okay? So we asked James what else he felt from that. And he said left lower back pain in his QL, which is part of that chain, and also right upper trapezius pain, right? Okay. So. I'm going to fire off the peroneus again, okay? I'm going to check it to, I should check it to this abductor, okay? That's fine. I'm going to check it to the QL. Absolutely nothing, right? No neural pathway, okay? And then, I, my guess is that the neck is facilitated because of the QL. So we're going to do an active therapy localization. I'm going to have him turn his head to the right, shrug his shoulder up, and in. Now we have facilitation of the QL. And I'm also going to have, find a spot, this is passive therapy localization. And I'm going to have him, with some assistance, I'm going to have him QL again and it's much stronger. So we know that the, from the ankle sprain, his QL has been inhibited by both his peroneus and his upper trapezius. And the other effect, of course, is that the peroneus is inhibiting the inversion with dorsiflex, with plantar flexion, which would be the tibialis posterior, okay? So ankle sprains global effect in the ankle itself, in the lower back, and in the neck, okay? And to treat it, we would release here in the peroneus and in the right upper trapezius. That will cause the QL to fire again, okay? And then releasing again in the peroneus will also cause the tibialis posterior to fire again, okay? So that would be the remedy for the leftover observator ankle sprain. All right? Great. That's it. That's good.